it's my birthday it is my 26th birthday i am very excited i'm going to be vlogging for all of today and maybe when i get back from my day out opening some book packages that have arrived and doing a little bit of an unboxing but if i don't do that today i will still include it in this vlog i'll just do it another day because i don't know how long we're going to be out but my mum and i are going out to london today we are specifically going to the van gogh alive experience which is a 3d interactive walkthrough experience with all of Van Gogh's paintings. Van Gogh is my favourite artist, I am very very excited. Two years ago we were seeing a Van Gogh exhibition in the Tate Britain. A lot has changed in the world since then but I'm really pleased to be able to go somewhere like this again. We're also going to do a little bit of shopping around Westfields and we're going to head to the V&A and have a little wander around there and have a look in the gift shop because apparently it is very very good but I'm really really excited to go out for the day, go back to London. It's been a long time since I've been to London now. I am a little bit nervous of London, but I'm gonna wear a face mask, we're not going on the tube, lots of hand sanitizer, it should be good. But I'm really excited, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I will bring the camera and vlog little bits here and there of the, specifically of the Van Gogh experience because I want to document as much of that as possible because it looks really, really cool. So let's get on with my 26th birthday. <laughs> gosh what a great day <laughs> 
What a great day. There is a little under five minutes left of my birthday of July 15th, 2021. I'm 26 now. I don't know why, but I've always perceived 26 to be a fantastic year. I've always seen people at age 26 doing some really great stuff and having a lot of fun. So I'm ready for 26. I really, really, really am ready for 26. I have got my own home. I've got a great job. I've got a great thing going on with Books Nest. I've got great books around me. I'm feeling really good. Most importantly though, I have such a fantastic group of friends and family around me. And I think having that is just amazing at the moment. So I'm feeling very lucky, very happy. Yeah, looking forward to going into 26 with all of these amazing things, but especially all my friends and family who have made today really lovely. So it's been really good. My mum and I went to the Van Gogh experience, Van Gogh Alive experience, which was just beautiful. The combination of music, art and performance storytelling through that art was truly breathtaking. Like it made me feel emotional. Exquisite, exquisite. It just really beautiful. If you've got an opportunity to be able to go, I would really, really advise it. I just, was completely hypnotised by it and felt a lot of things. <laughs> we also had a little bit of a shop around. We went to the V&A for a little bit. My mum loves the gift shop there. Uh, it's more than a gift shop. It's like an amazing collaboration of independent jewellery makers and general independent sellers. It's not a gift shop really. It's a shop within a museum and it was so, so beautiful. So that was also stunning. And yeah, we just had a little bit of shop about. I got a couple of clothes to make me feel really confident because I think when you get clothes that make you feel really great and confident, that makes you happy. So I got a couple of really nice bits I'm really pleased with. I haven't bought clothes for a while, so really pleased with that. And I got some really lovely gifts for my family. And I also have a lot of books. I think are books, I assume are books in the other room. I was hoping to unbox them tonight, but it is quite late now. And I really need to go to sleep because in the morning I am off to a spa weekend or spa two days with my best friend for her hen do. And I'm not gonna be able to unbox these until Saturday night. So I wanted to be able to do them now, but I just don't have the time now. And I need to get ready for a very early start in the morning. So I will do those on Saturday. I'm very, very excited, but Oh, I've just had such a magical day. I don't think I filmed quite as much as I intended to, but at the same time, I hope you did enjoy whatever footage you've seen. But it was just brilliant. It was really, really good. Had such a lovely time. Thank you to anyone who has wished me a happy birthday. It's been such a good day. So this is kind of end of part one of the birthday vlog, I suppose. Part two will involve a little bit of a haul, a little bit of an unboxing. And yeah, feeling very full, feeling very happy, feeling very thankful. Feeling good. Here's to 26. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a year of confidence, of success, of self-love, of positivity, of just believing in myself and believing that I can be the best version of me and doing that in all aspects of my life. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good. And hopefully a year of being able to have a little bit of a different experience than what we all had last year with lockdown and have had still this year, but hopefully something positive comes soon because things are changing and I really hope that we can see stuff. I, I mean, for me, it's going to be a year of having two vaccines. So that's going to be great. But generally, I'm feeling really optimistic. I hope it's going to be a really, really good one and a really successful one. So here's to 26 and here's to the next clip that you'll see, which will be me unboxing some books. Hello, welcome to part two of my birthday vlog. This is an unboxing of some packages I have received for my birthday from all of you guys, which is immensely kind. I am very, very grateful and I cannot wait to open these. These have been slowly building up in my office and I have had to wait till today to open them. So it's currently Saturday, my birthday was on Thursday. I've spent the past two days on a spa break with my best friend for her Hindu, which was amazing. I've just got back and I am gonna do this now because I don't really have any other time to do this coming up. So I'm super excited. I hope this will be super chilled because 
I am in complete slob out mode. I am very relaxed from the spa day and it's quite late. I just want to chill. So we, well, it's quite late. I say it's quite late. It's 8.15. It's late on a Saturday night for me to be filming a video when I kind of just want to take my makeup off and slob. But we're here. We're all chill. I'm dressed in my slob clothes. I'm ready to unbox some book mail <laughs> because guys, books came in the mail. Hey, <laughs> there's a lot. I. I mean, I'm always so thankful that anyone would think to send me anything. So if you sent me something through, you, you absolutely didn't need to. And the fact that you did means the absolute world to me. There's a lot here. There really is. I think you can tell I've been at a spa because I just look, I'm barely wearing any makeup. My hair is like nothing done to it. I'm wearing like my cover free t-shirt. I've also got the door open at the moment, which is literally right there because it is very hot right now. So I need me some fresh air. But without further ado, Let's unbox some books. So the first one is gift wrapped and it has a little note attached. Happy birthday Beth from Liz. Oh, Liz is one of my Patreons. Oh, yes. She got me the hardback 10th, uh, 10th anniversary, 18th anniversary edition of Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. This is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much Liz. Ah, uh, Liz is the bookish brunette on social media if you did want to check her out, but oh my gosh. I saw this book a while ago in a bookshop and I didn't buy it because I had a lot of other books that I was buying at the same time and I thought, no, no, and oh my gosh, thank you so much, Liz. Next we have got Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. This is the third in the Once Upon a Con series, which is Geekerella and, oh no, what's the other? The Princess and the Fangirl, is that it? I think that's what it was called. And I was going through cataloging my books the other day and I realized that I never actually bought the third one in this series and I would like to complete that series. So thank you so much to Abby. Oh, my Patreon's not the nicest. Happy birthday, Beth, from one July baby to another. I hope you have a spectacular day. Your content means so much to me and it never fails to put a smile on my face. Oh. Okay, I think I'm not going to read every single note out because I'll read them myself, but this will be a very long video. So thank you so much to Abby. This is Vicious Spirits by Cat Cho. This is the sequel to Wicked Fox, which I read last week and absolutely bloody loved. And it's in our back. Mm, oh, it's so pretty. Ah, thank you so much to Amy. Thank you, Amy. I'm so excited. I really enjoyed Wicked Fox. It was so fantastic and I cannot wait to read the next one. I'm really trying to complete series at the moment so that amazing. Thank you Amy. I feel like I just have the same face whenever I lift them up. This is Mooncakes by Wendy Zhu and Suzanne Walker. This is a graphic novel. I've had it on my wish list for ages. Apparently it's fantastic. Now this one doesn't seem to have come with a note which is really sad but I am very very excited to read this. Please do let me know if you were very very kind and bought me this because I would very much like to say a massive thank you. We have got The Vine Witch by Luann G. Smith. I saw this one on a Facebook ad recently and thought it looked really, really cool. Witchy vibes, plant vibes, it looks really, really great. Has this one not come with a note either? Oh no, there's no note for this one. Okay, again, please, please let me know if this was you because again, I wanna say a massive thank you. Oh, that's sad when they don't come with notes. But I think Amazon just sometimes doesn't include the notes, which is sad, but. Thank you so much to have bought me this one. Please, both of you, come forward and let me know for both the Vine Witch and Mooncakes, because I really would like to say thank you. Um, excuse me. Uh, this is stunning. This is a notebook, and this is from Kel. Thank you, Kel. Dragon Babble. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. It's a vintage notebook with gems in it. Oh my gosh. And it's like hard, oh. I love a notebook. Kel knows I love a notebook. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kel. I have got The Ship of Shadows by Maria Kuznia. I absolutely love Midnight in Everwood by Maria and I am very, very excited to read her middle grade series as well. So this looks amazing. I don't have enough middle grade books on my shelves, so I'm really, really happy to have this one. Thank you so much to Melanie for buying me this one. Thank you, Melanie. I really, really appreciate it. I've got two. This is very exciting. Okay, wait, who have these come from? This is from Ian and this is such a lovely note. Thank you so much, Ian. Ian is again one of my patrons. You guys are the best. Oh, it's so exciting. 
I feel like I get my birthday all over again. <gasps> yes! Disfigured by Amanda Leduc. I have read this one. I really wanted to own a physical copy of it because it really meant something to me because I have scoliosis and this talks about how in fairy tales disability is represented within the villain roles and how disability is represented. And whilst my scoliosis for me isn't a disability as such, it is a bone condition and it is something that is often included within villains that you see with like a particularly prominent humped back or a prominent change to their body structure it, it's often can be seen reflected and this book talks about that and it meant a lot to me i really really wanted to own a physical copy of it so thank you so much ian everyone is so nice <laughs> this next one is also from ian because ian you're too kind you really are it is Still Life by Sarah Winman. Sarah Winman is the author of When God Was a Rabbit, which is an absolutely stunning book. And when I saw she had a new book out, I just, I mean, I think she's got, yeah, this is her fourth book. I haven't read either of the other two, but this one for me sparked something and it seemed a bit different and I thought it looked really, really great. So I am really excited to have a copy of this one, particularly because I'm trying to vary my shelves. So I have a couple of different options for what I fancy as and when. So this one it looks amazing. Thank you so so much, Ian. Okay, this next one is not a birthday present, but um I it was book shaped and it was a book I ordered that I clearly didn't realise had arrived yet. But it is my fairy loot edition of Wicked Fox. I found this one on eBay and oh this now matches my vicious spirits. I mean the vicious spirits isn't obviously a fairy loot edition because there isn't one for that one, but both hardbacks are gonna look stunning. So yeah, that, I bought this one for myself. This was a birthday present for myself. We have another Ruth Ware book, The Death of Mrs. Westaway. This is what the third book, the, the words, the third Ruth Ware book I will have owned. I am really, really enjoying her thrillers. I really love One by One. I really love The Turn of the Key. I am very excited by this one and it's yellow. Thank you so much to Kat for sending this one through to me. Once again, my patrons are the loveliest. I just, yeah, thank you. I can't wait to read more by this amazing author. Okay, we have got a non-fiction book that I'm very excited to dip into. A Curious History of Sex by Kate Lister. I have had this on my wish, one on my wish list. Words are eluding me. I have had this one on my wish list for a while now because the idea of learning more about this is very interesting to me. And apparently this is absolutely fantastic. I certainly will not read this one in one go <laughs> by any means. Wow, there are some interesting illustrations and photos in here amazing but i'm definitely looking forward to dipping in and out of this one because i want to learn about the history of sex this looks great i am so excited who sent me this we're without a note again so please 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 let me know if this was you i want to say a massive thank you and just i can't wait to read it i'm so excited then we have got this is how you lose the time war by max gladstone i was umming and ahhing about this book for so long and i have seen loads of people rave or hate it and I need to know which one I'm in. It's a short book, so it shouldn't hopefully be too daunting. I have to know, I have to know. And this was very kindly sent to me by Holly, who does apologize for it being late, but it's absolutely fine, Holly, because I'm unboxing this pretty late, apparently. I'm so excited, thank you so much. I like having shorter books on my sh uh, shelves as well, because it gives me the option to do short books for readathons, or if I wanna hit like X goal for X month, then they're always good ones to reach towards, but generally, looking forward to that one very much. Next up we have got two books in one. We have got The Lucky Escape by Laura Jane Williams which is an adult contemporary. Sometimes I do fancy a good adult contemporary and this one looked like a fun one to add to my wish list so I'm excited to have this one. I've seen this on Waterstones tables a lot recently so hopefully that means it's good. <laughs> and then I also added recently Quicksand. Who's this one by? Junikiro Tanizaki and this one is a vintage edition. I added this to my wish list because I want to be able to read more widely and this one looked really interesting. Again a little bit different. It's again quite short so hopefully not one that would be too daunting but that cover as well absolutely stunning and the story looks really really lovely too. So these are both sent to me by Vicky. Thank you Vicky so so much. That is super super kind of you. <laughs> this is another one or another two from Abby. Abby? Ah! The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arakawi. I have heard great things about this one. I've heard great, great things, especially from Meg. She has put some really, really brilliant thoughts about this book up on her YouTube channel and made me want to add it to my wish list immediately. It's told from the perspective of a cat, 
what's not to love. And also another one that's been on my wish list for a while, this is Invisible Women by Caroline Criado Perez. This is a book that explores a world designed for men and how women are meant to fit into that and it looks really really interesting. This is like a classic to read for feminism I think, a non-fiction and looks really great. So Abby, thank you for these two, thank you for three books in general, just too kind. <laughs> the tea dragon tapestry that's all our car this is the third book in the tea dragons society series and amazing it's by Kay o'neill and this this series is just beautiful lovely lovely illustrations just stunning stories stunning drawings stunning characters and this one was sent through from Lily. Thank you so much, Lily. I lent Lily the first two books in this series because I just think they're beautiful. So thank you so much for buying me the third Lily. I, oh man, I wanna read this. I might bring this home with me tomorrow to read in the sun because it is such a stunning world to fall into. Then I have got Watch Over Me by Nina Lacour. This cover is stunning and is originally what drew me into this, but also I saw this recommended on several different booktube accounts, mainly Spoops, and I know she really enjoyed it. So it's very fitting that this has come from Spoops. Thank you so, so much Spoops. I can't wait to read this one. It looks really, really interesting. And I know that you really enjoyed it and that makes me want to read it even more. This one is feeling very heavy. I'm very excited. This has been sent from Lily Z. Thank you so much, Lily. I'm very intrigued. This is heavy. <gasps> oh, yes. This is the graphic novel of Sapiens. And I am so excited. This is by Yuval Noah Hari. And this, Sapiens is all about the start of, of humankind. And I have the physical book and I have read bits of it, but it's also quite daunting. So to have this in a graphic novel format is amazing. I'm so interested in this kind of thing anyway and learning more about it and I've, these cars are so loud. And I've often done reading around this subject a couple of years back and this was so interesting to me and I'm so so excited to have this. This is a real like dive in and out of type of book for me in the evenings and the fact that it's a graphic novel is going to make that so much more accessible to me so that's amazing. Thank you so much Lily. This final one I'm not gonna lie has me mega intrigued. When this arrived I was very confused because this is big and it's heavy and I, I don't know what that would be unless I've ordered myself something and forgotten about it in which case this will be not a very interesting section of this unboxing. Are you kidding me? Are you actually joking? <laughs> um, are you, Caitlin? <laughs> My God, this is like, um, these are, beautiful <laughs> hang on i'll show you what they all are they're covered in bubble wrap uh i can't actually what like it, caitlin what <laughs> oh my gosh caitlin oh my gosh you like <laughs> I know, like, you know, you all know that no one is ever obliged to get me anything, but this is absolutely so lovely and I appreciate everything. But like, I, I know that this set is like, you know, this is, this is heavy to hold, guys. <laughs> like, um, thank you so much. This is the hardback box set of The Hobbit and the three Lord of the Rings books by J.R.R. Tolkien. And they're beautiful. And I cannot thank Caitlin enough who has said that she can't think of anyone that needs this more. Happy birthday, may this be your best year yet. These are also the illustrated editions, by the way. <laughs> Stunning, um, thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. So I'm gonna end this here because I have unboxed all my books. I believe that I have something else that I'm expecting in the post um, that someone's let me know is coming, but I will unbox that in a weekly vlog. I am gonna go FaceTime my friends now and do a little unboxing with them from the presents that they sent me through, so that's exciting. But I'm gonna round this up here because I 
have a mess of parcels around me and a load of amazing new books that I want to go and shelf. So thank you so so much if you did send me something through. I'm going to be sending through individual thank yous as well. Please let me know if any of these were from you that didn't come with a note because I really would love to thank you as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up, comment anything you like down below and subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. You can also find my Patreon link down below as well where I do extra content and it's a fun time and obviously my patrons are absolutely lovely human beings as are all of you guys i mean i am so thankful i love you all so much and i'm so thankful for you every day so thank you so much for your support your continued support keep smiling and stay positive <laughs>